Okay, I think that one of the things that can be a little bit tricky is managing colors in an Illustrator document. There are a couple of functions for doing this. Open Swatch Library, Save Swatch Library, and there's different types. There's the ASE, and that stands for Adobe Swatch Exchange. And then there's the AI, and that's your basic Adobe Illustrator file. So when you want to remove colors from your palette, you can click on that color and click the trash can, and that color goes away. So you can also hold the shift key down, and that selects all the colors. And you really cannot delete all the colors because some of these colors have to stay in here. Like the no symbol, you can see the trash can is disabled. The registration is disabled. White and black and everything after that you could delete. So those are gone, but these two you cannot get rid of. And then again I can start selecting and dragging my colors down. And two more here. Last one. And then from the flyout menu, I'll choose. Right now, there's no color selected. None of these are actually clicked on. Now, this is clicked on. Now, nothing is clicked on or selected. And from the flyout menu, I will choose. Save Swatch Library as ASE, Adobe Swatch Exchange. And when I do this, it's going to try and save this somewhere. You see Swatch Exchange Files, ASE. This is in the Swatches folder on my computer somewhere in here. Okay, and I'll just call this AR Colors 01. Okay says swatches containing gradients patterns or tints are not currently exchangeable so if you were trying to say tints of a color which I won't go into in this lesson but I will in another one or gradients you couldn't save it that way and you would have to save it as an AI and so in this case if I were to toggle over to InDesign and I went to this flyout menu and I try to open up a color palette load swatches I would have to know where I saved that which can be a drag so I'm going to click cancel and go back to Illustrator hence when you're saving this if you do save it as an ASC file you might want to save it to someplace other than where Adobe wants to save this even if it's just temporary on the desktop or in the client folder so I'm just going to save it as colors AR, slightly different name, 01, and it should be adding the ASE file extension automatically. And now I'll switch back to InDesign again, and I'll try it again. And I'll do load, and I'll go to desktop, and there's my ASE, and now there they are again. So most of the time, if you're going to be switching, I mean, if you're going to be sharing colors, you're probably going to be sharing from Illustrator into InDesign and probably unlikely to go the other way. The sh saving of colors in here is not exactly the same. Save swatches. You can see it looks a little bit different, the dialog box. And I don't have a choice. It's only ASC because it's not an Illustrator file. And then loading those into Photoshop, same colors, no gradients, no patterns. We we'll find, I'm not really so worried about the document, I'm just trying to focus on the color. And I'll go to Window and we'll go to Color and then to Swatches is really what I want. And here's my minuscule swatches palette, which I will make it have a large thumbnail. And then flyout menu and load swatches. 
and desktop and ASE. And there they are. Great question.